Sorry, man. Look at my Chris, Christian boys, man. You've emulated the class of 98. You've emulated the class of 98. It wasn't pretty. It was a tough game. You're going up against the hosts, the same hosts who knocked out Russia. So, sorry, the same hosts who knocked out Spain. It's always going to be a tough game. It was always, always going to, going, 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 going to be a tough game. So, it is good that you were able to at least, you know, um, come through because it was a difficult game, 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 game for Croatia. Very difficult game, game for Croatia. And I think, look, man, for Russia, what they've shown, the World Cup needed it. <laughs> You know, I think what that South Africa World Cup was really missing was South Africa actually doing well. But Russia, super, super overachieving. Nobody, no, nobody thought that they'd ever get a kid this far. It's the first time as Russia they've ever been in the quarterfinal. And how bad, how horrible this team were before the World Cup. Nobody gave, gave them a shot. So to go out on penalties, especially you had 2 1 down an extra time to go back to 2 2, was, was absolutely amazing. But for Croatia, man, I just felt that they knew that they were better than Russia. And when that went to, to I thought Russia was going to win on penalty. I thought that psychologically, it's not Russia not giving the edge. So for Croatia to mentally g themselves up and say, "Let's go again. Let's put these penalties away." I think it was it was huge for them. So I think for Croatia, because again, I know I like I I know a Croatian guy. So now, right now he, he he's parting right now. So putting away those penalties were were key. They were key. But I think with regards to the game specifically. For Croatia, like you've played two teams that just do not give you space. Both Russia and, and Denmark, they were, they were not really going to go full out open, especially knowing that they were playing against a superior team in Croatia. So for Croatia, knowing that, okay, you know what, we're going to have to work really hard. And like Dric and Rakitic really did their thing. I tell you, Rebic is a really good player. I mean, Rebic, that guy is a quality player. And again, I feel that Kovacic has to start because I don't understand the thinking of bringing Kovacic on. I think he, I think for him, I think when you look at how Croatia play, I think Rakitic and Modric are obviously the sitters in midfield. Modric is a bit more, more forward. And Kovacic is the guy that can really drive forward and is much more of the attack minded mid midfielder. Because I think what Croatia are missing and an extra man from midfield to offer them something, some ideas in, in the middle from a guy m moving from, from midfield that Persic and Rebic can sort of combine with. So again, I think Kovacic is a guy who should be stuck. But I thought Lovren, Vida, they were, they were solid. And I just think for Croatia, they, they, they need to have a cutting edge. They need to have a cutting edge. They can't keep relying on these penalties. I think they have to trust in their quality, in their talent, and take more risks. Take more risks. I think for Ribic and, and Perisic, take more risks. Take more, more, more shots. Take your men on. Try and actually force the issue. Force the game. Push the, the, push the game onto the opponent because you have the ability to. But I think, you know, overall, man... Um, this World Cup has been amazing. And I think part of that has been great hosting by Russia. You know, that, 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 that need. Um, but it's how well they've, they've done because they surprised many people. And I think you always want a host nation to go a bit far in a World Cup. And I think that's what they, they did. So well done and congrats to Russia. And for Croatia, man, you can't rest here, man. You're going up against England and that game is 50 flipping 50. Anybody can win that game. And I think Croatia will know that look. Let's we've okay, fair enough. We've emulated the boys from 998. Why can't we go even further? Why can't we go even further? So it's gonna be a big, huge game for them on Wednesday. They have to G up, rest up, be very well well rested because they're gonna get against that England team that will be um well rested because obviously they didn't play 120 minutes. So I think for Croatia they have to just really keep focus. But look, man, it's a quality team, it's a very talented team, but that just, that needs much more of a harder grit winning mentality to go flipping all the way. But well done to my Croatian brothers. Look, man, you know, you were not feeling the confidence, but look, by hook or by crook, it doesn't matter how you do it. It does not matter how you do it. All that matters is winning. Winning is all that matters. You got there in the end. You made it through. You're playing a World Cup semi-final for the second time in history. Huge. Thank you for watching this video. Think about pledging and become a half a football hot patron. Pledge an amount each month and gain access to exclusive videos from your boy, the football hot, for more analysis. Peace.